Oh, look who it is. Good to see you. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is April 16th. It is Sunday. 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 <laughs> Come on, you remember those commercials. So what is it we do on this show besides act silly? Well, we like to look at OTC and penny stocks. We're looking for those hot ones, the ones that have potential to put money in our pockets. And where am I finding these? On every single market. Because we're looking at penny stocks. Penny stocks is nothing more than a stock that's under five bucks, and they're on every single market. Now, if you watch my show regularly, you know I've got a habit of covering three stocks per video. I thought this was convenient, but it does make for a rather long video. These are about 35, 45 minutes long. And I am getting feedback now that they may be too long. I've got viewers telling me they've got time constraints. And as much as they'd like to watch my video, they just can't squeeze in a video that long every night. Then I've actually got Google reaching out to me. They sure did last week. They said, look, if you want to get your views up, try making your video shorter. Well, yeah, I do want my views up, folks. I've been doing this for well over a year, and I am still down between two and 400 views. So we're going to have to make some changes here. Now, when I make one video with three stocks, it actually takes less time to make that one big video than it does to make three smaller videos because of the ends and all the extra work that goes into it. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to do three stocks a night anymore. Not with this procedure. But I don't see any problem with getting two out there. So let's shoot for that. All right, let's take a look at CAFs. This is the stock I've picked right now, ticker CAFS, CAF Serendipity Holdings. Now, how did I pick this stock? By its chart. I go through a scan and I look at every chart down that scan, and I have no idea what company I'm looking for until I find something hot, then I look at the name. Well, this has a hot chart, but it's not hot, hot, hot. It's not your atypical breakout chart where you've got that ski slope 200-day SMA coming down and leveling off and the price slicing through it. No, it's not one of those. <laughs> no, this is more of a slow downtrend, and she is now breaking out of the channel and gotten over the 200-day SMA. It is just the start of the breakout and trend change. But there's things happening right now. She's got catalysts. She has made a deal this year. She has had a change of control, change of operations, and it looks like they're going to be getting rid of this shell because money's going to be coming in. So now is the time to consider CAFs. So CAFs finished the day just a little under six cents at 5.7 cents and just a little over 39% gains. She is on the pink tier. She's current. She's got a verified profile, but we're missing that verified transfer agent. If you're going to be getting in a stock on the OTC, especially a pink for a long hold, make sure to see verified profile and verified transfer agent. There's a lot of important information that's represented by these green ticks. It's being verified behind the scenes. You need as much verified information as you can get with the pink. Now, if you're just going to trade this for a quick swing or a day trade, don't you worry about those green ticks at all. As I said, currently she's a shell company, but that is about to change. So what is Cafe Serendipity doing now? Well, Cafe Serendipity, they purchased Exerbo Group in February. Exerbo Group is a new generation botanical company. They are a leading CBD health and beauty product supplier. They supply products to beauty salons, cafes, spas, and other wellness businesses around the world. The CBD market it is growing very rapidly right now. Many countries are catching on to the benefits of CBDs and they are relaxing their laws against it. Now, the company's research and development department has been perfecting CBD formulation since the year 2000, making their products ready to market and sell immediately. Now, a news press came out February 20th about this deal, and we can learn a little bit more about the company here. They tell us that the deal was closed February 6th, and they are going to change the name to Exerbo Group and change the ticker as well. Now, they are bringing the two companies together to accelerate the expansion of Exerbo's multi-million dollar skin care and natural health care products, including the company's quit smoking program. Now, this kind of caught me by surprise. They tell us here that it is with great pleasure that we at Exerbo, a new generation botanical company, announced the launch of Natural Quit Club initiative in Europe and our plans to expand our products into the United States. 
offering the world's first all-natural alternative product to quit smoking. Our unique solution via our patented technology is used to capture the unique flavors of tobacco essence while preserving the delicate nuances. The company's mission is to build a community of smokers and non-smokers by delivering high quality education for a healthier future. The unique patented technology captures the unique flavors of tobacco essence while preserving its delicate nuances. Exerbo is headquartered in Bulgaria with a distribution network throughout Europe and the United States. So we see that they're working with CBD products and they're working with this quitting smoking program, but they do a lot more than that. Let me show you over at their website. So this is the site for Exerbo Group. It is called exerbogroup.com. And good luck trying to find this on Google. I did a search trying to get any information on this company and found absolutely nothing. Not even the website was listed on Google. So how did I find it? Well, they had a email address in one of the news presses and everything after the at is the domain that is the web address so i put that in and i found their website and they've got lots of different products here right now we are looking at that anti-smoking product and even though they didn't say it in the news press and they don't say it here it appears to me to be a vapor product this looks like a standard 510 cartridge for a vaporizer so i'm presuming this is a vapor product they tell us it is made with cbds and tobacco terpenes this is great folks, this isn't an artificial flavoring, these are real flavors. Terpenes is the essence of smell and the essence of flavor. This is how they make beers and all sorts of stuff, by extracting those terpenes. And they found a way to get these terpenes out of real tobacco and mix them with CBDs to create this product. Now they tell us they are using five times more terpene types than anyone else in the industry. There is nothing synthetic, there's nothing artificial, and of course there's no nicotine. Now, I, I'm a smoker, folks, and I've tried to quit smoking many times, and without nicotine involved with it, I go through withdrawals. I mean, it is an addiction to a drug, and whenever you stop cold turkey, you're going to have withdrawals. So I don't know how well this is going to work without any nicotine in it. I've never tried it, though. But the company has other products as well, as you know. Uh, they do have CBD oils, different types of oils. They also have a lot of creams. Now, they are supplying over 22,000 luxury hotels and spas in Europe. You know, you go to these motels and hotels and you get these little bottles of shampoos and creams. Well, that's what they've got. Not just for freebies, but for sale in small sizes and big sizes. Matter of fact, you can get a view of some of their prime products here. We're going to look at a few of these. This is for eczema. This is oatmeal and CBD cream. They also have a herbal hand therapy. Notice you've got one, two, three, four here, kind of like those nail files. You got to go through each step to get it all shiny. They've also got an anti-dandruff shampoo made with keto. They have pain relief and relaxation cream, herbal medicinal teas, and when you come down here, you see they have probiotics and sleep sticks. All sorts of different things. They are also into the baby market. They have baby formulations here like multivitamin syrups. I wish they had a multivitamin syrup for me. I hate pills. They've also got vitamin C chewable tablets, shampoo and baby bath. They have diaper rash cream, of course, and baby milk moisturizer. No, it's not made from milk. It's to keep your baby's skin as smooth as milk. So the company's got lots of different products here. Some are dealing with CBD, some are not. They're working with this anti-smoking uh, program, which is probably going to be huge if their product works. So they've got a lot going on here, but there is still more going on with the company that you're gonna see when we touch onto the news. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Well, we've actually got a nice jump here, over 100%. She's gone from 12,000 to 27,000. Now agreed, they're not big numbers, but we don't wanna see this after it's exploded. What we wanna see is a chart setup, volume increase, and a catalyst. That's what we've got, potential. Share structure for CAFE. Outstanding share count, we're up at about 192 million. And they tell us here twice, 
that the float is 11.8 million. Are they correct? Jumping into a pink disclosure, you can normally find this information, and it is. Number of shares in a public float is 11.8 million. So even though they draw the line of a low float at 10 million, I'm going to consider 12 million a low float, considering they've got 192 million outstanding. Looking at the financials for the company, we're going to see Zilch, right? It is a shell company. They got nothing here right now. But we know this new company, Exerbo, must have revenues. We haven't seen the numbers. They haven't talked numbers. But if you're supplying 22,000 spas and hotels with products, you must be making money. So they've just not been here long enough for these financials to get into the system. And I don't know how much longer it's going to be, but they are making money now. They are not a shell company anymore. We just don't know how much money they're making. And once that financial comes out, it will make a difference here. I assure you. Looking at the disclosures, actually the company hasn't got any new filings, not since 2019, and all of their financials are caught up. So let's take a look at that news. Now, as I said, the company hasn't had a lot of news in the last year and a half, roughly. We had a piece come out January of last year, and then for a full year, we've had absolutely no news presses whatsoever. Then we get two of them here just last February. Both of them are deals. They made that acquisition of Exerbo. That was on the 21st of February. And one week before that, they had acquired Infinity Inc. Now, this is the news press regarding that. They tell us that the company has acquired the assets of Infinity Inc., a legal cannabis market based out of California, in an all-stock purchase. Now, what's most particularly interesting to them is this cream that removes benign and malignant moles. Now, I've heard about products like this. Actually, I've seen one work, not this particular one. But when I was married in Scotland, my wife had a skin tag that she wanted to get rid of. So she bought this cream from China, rather expensive. She had to buff up that skin tag a little bit and then put this cream on every day for about two weeks. Now, I'll be honest, I was concerned. She told me this thing was going to melt. It was going to dissolve her mole away. And it's like, well, how does it know when to quit? Is it going to burn into your neck and leave a big old pit mark? Are you going to have a big red burn mark? She says, not supposed to. Well, it didn't. When that skin tag was gone, it looked beautiful. You could never tell anything was there. I think a product like that could be hot. They go on to tell us that Infinity Inc. took the time to develop several proprietary products in addition to acquiring a number of formulations through strategic acquisitions. Calf Serendipity seized the opportunity to move forward with the use of Infinity's formulations into approvals for general consumer use. So you've got Infinity here, which has some very innovative, novel products that are not yet on the market. Then you've got Exerbo, which has lots of products on the market and doing business. We just don't see the numbers yet. So we know things are changing, we know things are growing, and we know there's revenues, we just haven't seen them yet. And once that financial comes out, I think that'll be a big boost. But right now, there is a lot happening that I think could move the chart. Let's go take a look at it. We're going to chart this stock on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. If you like it, just mosey on over to TD Ameritrade, sign up for their free trading account, and they'll give this to you absolutely free. What a bargain. So we are looking at ticker CAFS, Cafe Serendipity, six-month, four-hour chart. We got a huge bounce here back in August. She went from about five and a half cents up to almost 15 cents, roughly 200% gains. Then she fell over 700% to a low of about two cents in October. Now she has been on a downhill trend all this time. She's had a couple of attempts to get through the 200 back here, but once they failed, she fell into this channel and she's been stuck there all this time. Until Friday, she jumped jumped over everything. She's gotten outside of the channel and on top of the 200 day SMA, which is now going flat. And all this with little volume. Now it was more than double today. She went from 12.5 thousand shares to 27,000 shares. So volume is increasing, price is jumping, position is great, and our oscillators are on fire. Our PPO is at a crossover, pushing up very strongly, just like the MACD. These two are akin to each other. The MACD and the PPO, you read them the same. The difference, 
The MACD works with the full price and the percentage price oscillator, right, works with the percentage of the price. And our RSI, that has been climbing for about five, four days here from 38 to 61. I see a lot of heat and potential in the four hour chart. Coming down to that 20 day, one hour view, so here she is in that channel, and there's your halfway mark, the dotted line in the middle of the road. She came down past that dotted line, bouncing off of the floor at .024, arguing with the middle again, but once she won that argument, she took off, did not look back. Every low got higher than the previous, and she got over that channel, and she is stuck at her high right now at .057. And our oscillators are still ripping. Our PPO is pushing up strong, just like our MACD. The green bars are accumulating, and our RSI has not ceased to continue climbing. Everything looks good. Five day, five minute. <laughs> not a lot to look at here, but what we see is all good. Really, we have volume across the board. We have a low bubble in this corner, high bubble in that corner. We have higher lows on each bar and they're all floating on top of the nine day SMA, which is the only SMA we got here. So everything is actually looking good and we've got lots of catalysts. They just purchased Exerbal, which has lots of products and we know as revenues, we're just waiting for that financial. Then they got Infinity. They've got products that aren't on the market yet. So they got a lot going on right now. They're about ready to change their ticker. They're about ready to change their name and that financial should be coming out. I think this is one you should be keeping your eye on. But of course, do some more due diligence that never ever hurts. Remember folks, due diligence, it's important. The more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See ya.